Good hey. morning, everyone. It's Kaiba on the Renegade. I'm back here with more Elden Ring, but I can only level up through co-op. Yes, we still have souls. They're co-op souls. Don't worry, we're doing our PvE first today. Because I thought it'd be fun. And I've got a cute kitty on my lap now. Which is always nice, actually. Oh, she's going up for dinner. You gotta get that dinner when you're a cute kitty. Help you stay big and strong. <laughs> she just... She arched her back in such a funny way when I said big and strong. She's like, big and strong? I don't know, I'm little. And kind of not strong. There we go. I don't know if we'll actually end up needing Golden Parry for anything, where we're not really going to be parrying all that much, but, you know, it's nice to have. Okay, I was trying to two-hand my weapon, but that's fine, too. You know what I'd like to know about Elden Ring's lore? Why are so many people wandering around like husks, like the fucking undead from Dark Souls 1? Like the nobles. When you look at the nobles, they're fucking literally just husks of their former selves. Do those guys maybe live in death or something? You're not at half HP, don't give me that. Why are you lagging? This is... This is not PvP, sir. Dude, I was playing with my friend Ghost the other day. We were on... I think we were on, like, New Game Plus 3 or 4 or something. And fucking... He was like, kill Margit without getting hit. And I was like, bro, I'm on a setup literally meant to trade and you didn't give me any warning. Like, if you told me ahead, I could have set up something to try and not get hit with. If I were gonna do that, I'd probably go light roll, but... Nope. <laughs> didn't have that... didn't have any warning for it, so there wasn't really anything I could do. Don't touch! There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. I only hit him with the first bar. Pretty sure it's at the top here. It might be at the bottom. I don't actually remember. Or there's a chest somewhere in the middle. I have an arrow literally through my head. There we go. Get a little great bow action going. Oh, hey, buddy. Great bows are actually amazing on pure strength builds. Fucking. If you actually have the golden great arrows, which I think I do? I don't. Oh shit, I should have got those for this when I was duping with, um, Ghost. That's unfortunate. I think the only thing we actually duped was golden great arrows, too. But honestly, they're so fucking nice to have. Because it, it just make It takes great bows and makes them from being eh to actually really, really fucking good. Well, I guess I might as well. Since I see it. Oh, 
Hello, Omen Man. Oh, yikes. Are they throwing rocks at me? No, 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 no. No death blight for me, thanks. The Twiggy and Crimson Crystal Tear. Well, that's a fucking waste of time right there. Twiggy literally just makes you recover your souls if you die with them. And fucking... I'm pretty sure Crimson is just another HP refill so that you can have a full flask refill. That was cool, but also scary. Alright, my dude's here. Wait. Oh, yes he is. So, I know I'm not allowed to do this because these aren't souls for this, but I'm buying this for PvP, not for PvE. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy as many oil crab as I can. That is not for the playthrough. I will not be using those as long as I remember. And I will try and remember. Bear, get out of here. You don't belong in here. You don't belong in here, Bear. This is a grave. Show some respect. I can never remember what's actually behind any of these. You know what? This one has basilisks, but I don't fucking remember if it's the crimson seed talisman or if it's something else. Nope, nope, no death light. Not interested. Oh my god, it's everywhere. No, no, no. There we go. What is this one? Oh, the golden epitaph. That's only useful on a fucking um, faith build. I think. I think it's only useful on faith. Golden epitaph. It's a straight sword, so it should be right here. Yep, only useful on faith. All right, let's open this. And boom. Now we'll do the last bit of our PvE for today, and that'll be that. Then we can go do our uh, co-op. Cool, I do have Market Shackle. Awesome. That'll make this a lot easier. Give it a minute. There we go. Beep. Boop. Now I get both Holy Ground and the Tree Sentinel set, which is awesome. And I'm not gonna lie, I think we can just open the door.
Yep. So there's no need to go through basically any of the rest of this dungeon. These guys are definitely doing more damage to me in my world than they were in that other guy's. That's so weird. I wonder why that is. Oh boy. Nope. Yep, saw that coming. Mimic is fucking dying. I'm so screwed. See, I'm fighting your fucking brother. Can't do your thing. I knew you were fucking sneaking up on me, I'm not that dumb. Come on. Once I get him alone, this will be so much easier. No heals, but oh fucking Christ. But we genuinely have a chance at this. No. It's a good thing I put that fucking regen on, oh man. Fucking pillar got in my way. God damn it. Of course. Really? What the fuck, dude? No, fucking god damn it. Oh, okay, I thought I was fucking good. What? What was I stuck on? Did you see that? I like half rolled. Exactly. Oh, shit. 
No, Mimic took the fucking repost and got me killed. God damn it. Stamina back. Bullshit. Should not have been half that fucking difficult. Alright, well, the good news is we actually got some dope armor out of it. Uh, but we don't have anything that will actually boost our carry capacity. There we go. Alright. Well, now we're finally set to do our PvEP, or our uh, co-op, I mean. Alright, Real Caria. Hello, hey. Calabrito? Calabrito? Would you look at that? He's a, um, a cuckoo knight. And he's gone. Hey! Okay. Well, fuck that. Let's just go. He's killed Moongrim already. That's actually a really good sign. Poor guy, he's in some of the most basic stuff you can get. open the door. I'm gonna send your elevator back down. Homie, do you not know how this boss works? You've fought it before. 
He doesn't know how this boss works. He might die to the weaklings. He died. Son of a bitch. I guess the reason we're so far behind is because uh, we're only doing three co-op sessions an episode. So like, uh, at least in these ones it's win, lose, draw, it doesn't matter, we're doing three. Uh, unless we have something really stupid like where that guy sent me home for no reason after doing fucking nothing. But like, uh, in the level up through invasions playthrough, I try to get a level every single episode, and fucking that shit is going fast because of the um, high level invaders or yeah, high level phantoms that we sometimes get. Not invaders. I'm the invader, but you know, a host can have a password summon that makes them have a player who's generally of meta level, but can be much higher or lower, and fucking. Hello, sir. Hey! Ooh, you got a bleed buff. You're wasting your bleed buff by bowing, sir. Hopefully he got some of that. And if he didn't, well, it's not really my problem. Oh boy. I get Scarlet Rotted. I don't have Rot Bolises, so it doesn't matter. And the host died anyway. Wouldn't it be funny if we had three losses after we had such a difficult time killing those Crucible Knights? That would actually be so funny. Everybody loses today. <laughs> Unable to summon. I'm right here, silly. Hey! The limb grave tunnels. Oh boy. We aren't gonna get shit for souls here. This guy has Godfrey's axe. If he's not on New Game Plus, I don't know what's happening. He's got Godfrey's axe, he's got the veteran's helm. Speaking of, I don't know what's happening, by the way. Fucking... Yeah, look at that! He just one-shot those fucking rats. We totally went the wrong way. Oh, but we got a red at least. Morpheus. That's always exciting.
Ooh, that was a good panic roll decision there. Oh, <laughs> he got body blocked into a quarter. So unfortunate. Look at this host! Oh my god! Can we press the button, please? Sir. What an imbecile. Oh my god. Whatever, I'm just going on ahead. I don't even care. Nothing left to do here but lay down and just wait. Let's see, we got 2300 souls. Ooh, that's not good. And we're not gonna get shit from this troll either. Oh, right, we used it already. Not like it'll matter. My guy. Yeah, the ring indeed. Fucking Ugh, praise the sun for this guy. Alright, well that's all our co-op for today. We didn't even get close to a level, so let's go ahead and uh, buy some upgrades. Because we need them. I wonder if I talk to Nephili, will she still give me the arsenal I charm? You fellow, Luke. I'm glad to see I found it in you defeat to make good use. I don't intend. Yes, ah, yes. that's helpful. I if he's in his no, offer bell bearing. Oh, we got a whole bunch here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and use... Probably a couple of these. That should be plenty. Because we have one of those, and we've got a good number of those, so... That's actually... There we go. Bam. Perfect. Well, I took you no man today. Out your own. Right, right. So let's see, if we're at level 4 for Somber right now, then that's level 12 for regular? Ugh, we already used all those runes. Damn. Um, yeah, we won't need Godric's weapon at all.
Mm, we might as well just spend the rest on it. Perfect. Oh wait, actually, let's set the Ash of War on it as... That's not it. We got Barbaric Roar and War Cry. Um, that's weird. Did we forget to pick up... Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of um, Ragart's Roar, not Barbaric Roar. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll set the Heavy. I already know I can't carry that. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, we gotta go pick up the... Oh my god, we're getting summoned to the blue now. Alright, we're blue dabba dee dabba die, I guess. There's another blue over there who's AFK. Hi blue. Where is Mr. Hostman? Is he this way? He's up there. What fucking use? Wait a second. No way. Is that motherfucker AFK farming? there. Do you have a cannon or anything? You don't have a cannon? Are we fighting? What's going on? Why are we fighting? Your host. He's up here. He's warping. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, well, I'm absolutely not participating in this. What? Oh, he sent me home. What an asshole. He knew I was trying to tell the red where he was, so he sent me home. Hilarious. Alright, so we still can't actually wield this the way we are right now, so we're real quick gonna go pick up a couple of things. Wait a second. No way, the crucible armor is actually lighter? That's shocking to me. Here it comes. There we go. That shouldn't have been nearly that much effort. Wow. War Torrent. I wish that's what Reign of Arrows actually was. That's actually good. A big barrage that just fucking chases you. That would be so great. That would be so great for applying pressure. Oh, Mr. Redmain Knight. up there is a warp gate. Whoops. Alright, I can wield it now. Do I have... I may not have grabbed it, actually. I know I didn't really get everything in Stormvale. Let's get the guitar while we're right here. It's a great strength weapon. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Not gonna lie, that shit always feels good. Woohoo! That was close. Oh, I went to get that. You would think I would have been smart enough to grab the fucking Highland X. Oh wow. It knocked me out of it. Bullshit. Whoa. My sound glitched out for like a second there. I wonder if that's gonna show up in the recording or not. There you are. Yeah, I figured. I'm also going to get the Mimic Bale because it bothers me that I don't have it. Alright, let's see how this goes now. Hey buddy. Wow. I am level... Level 53 and we just hit for almost 1500 damage. There you are. Boom. Alright. Now we're all good to end our episode. So thanks so very much for watching guys. I'm sorry this was kind of a long one but you know how it goes. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey! If you'd like to support me with more than just a subscription on YouTube, you can do so by buying, reading, or listening to one of the audiobooks or the actual physical or ebook copy of one of my books in my book series, Godly, about demigods in ancient Greece in a world where all pantheons of gods coexist. I like to describe it as a combination of Dragon Ball, Harry Potter, and Avatar The Last Airbender in a world that's very based on mythology. So if you find yourself interested, there are links in the description, and you can watch and listen to the audiobook right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so very much for watching, hope you have a great day, Bye bye